Hi, Phil Aston here from Mass Spinning Magazine with, I have to quick have a look then too, so I don't lose count, episode 12 of the Jethro Tall Deluxe series unboxing videos. And this edition episode is Stormwatch. As I'll say when I go through it, I remember seeing this in Virgin Records in 1979 when I was 20. It was everywhere, but I'd also seen the reviews saying it was tired, not very good. Um, you know, typical of Jethro Tull as they continue their decline. Decline? They're just in heavy horses. They just don't, look at this. Decline. Oh, whoops. <laughs> but, careful there. Um, but, but what did I know? It was a new way of pushing heavy metal, and I was thinking, Jethro Tull, not aqua lungs, not stand up. So, I didn't go there until much later. Anyway, I'll talk about the album at the end, but let's have a look inside the box. Now we hit 1979 and Stormwatch. I remember seeing this cover in Virgin Records uh, when I was going home from work on a Friday night. And I was tempted, but Jethro Tull, back then I wasn't sure, apart from those early albums I had, Minster in the Gallery. You know, and I'd read reviews that it wasn't so good, it didn't, it wasn't hitting the mark, etc. But this was my, the CD remaster I bought um, from the 2003 series, just a few lyrics and then a, you know, a bit of a, essay from Ian Anderson 2003 and that was it and I don't know whether there were any whether any there were bonus tracks here there were four of them in total however this is fantastic so an album that at the time Ian didn't quite like it was a dark time you know this was so ahead of its time it's it's the 40th anniversary force 10 edition environmentally aware it's just fantastic. The original 1979 album remixed to stereo 5.1 plus early tracks and a 1980 concert performance. 96 page book. So they haven't skimped on it. You've got disc one, disc two, disc three, disc four, DVD one and DVD two. This is huge. This is huge. Oh, and it's just and as the years have rolled by. You know, I, I listen a lot to stand up and you know that Minstrel in the Gallery is my favourite. But this one, this is closing in. It really, really is. The um, the track Dark Ages, nearly 10 minutes of absolute riffage and perfection. It really is. And something's on the move and don't ring girl. Oh, it's just brilliant. Absolutely superb. So uh, North Sea Oil, I say Dark Ages, 9 minutes and 12 seconds. I just love this album. I just love it. And you've got a double live, you know, look at look at the tracks. Can you see? And then hope it will stay in focus. The amount of tracks on the live stuff. It's just fantastic. There he is. Relaxing on the beach. And the other thing, as I've mentioned so many times, is, is how they got into the role, got into the stage gear and, you know, and put themselves in this position. They're just like chameleons, like theatre, you know, Real, real fantastic stuff. And again, this is tiny text because it's a detailed book. They've not thought, oh, well, this is um, not as big as Aqualung. Well, we'll, do, we'll pull back on this because I've seen so many box sets where as they go into the lesser known albums, they pull back, change the shape, change the shape of the box or the booklet. But Jethro Tull, no. Everything, the attention to detail and quality remains at the top level throughout this series. Anyone involved, you know, Dave Pegg's been involved here. Um, everything is just absolutely perfect. And look at them. Still being eccentric Englishmen, you know, we're zooming past the age of punk here, moving into the new wave of British heavy metal and Jethro Tull or Jethro Tull. It really is superb. The man is a genius. A creative genius, a true um, star of progressive rock, rock. I'm going to say folk, pop, everything. And Martin Barr, I'll talk about him later on. Um, just absolutely superb. Going through each track here on the turntable, you know, absolute detail, what you'd expect. And then 1980, there they are. The lyrics, of course, everything is included. As I've said so many times, oh, there's a book for sale in Waterstones on Jethro Tull albums. I'll just buy them all. And then again, all the dates when they're on tour. 
tour posters. Wow, were they busy. Some great pictures. Getting into the into character there. Second sound engineer gives his views on the album. And possibly hear about Richie Blackmore's Rainbow. Possibly the biggest album I was involved in before working on Storch was Down to Earth with Richie Blackmore. Um, it's just it's just fantastic. It's just I just love it, as you know. And I know that a lot of you, if you watch this series, have just enjoyed it as well. And it really is fantastic. And then we come to the end with the discs. And that is Stormwatch. Stormwatch. Oh, was I pleased when I saw that this was going to get this treatment. I did think they'd stop because it wasn't seen as that critical, perhaps, in the story. But it is. Everything about it. And it's... It's a weighty box. Uh, the booklet is huge. The, the amount of discs is fantastic. And I think, as I said before, I did the unboxing element. I, I didn't buy it at the time because I thought, well, but there's some great tracks on here, as I mentioned earlier. But Dark Ages. Oh, Dark Ages. The riff, the, the song, nine minutes and 12 seconds of just brilliance and you know something's on the move and of course Don Ringill oh classic um tall acoustic stuff he's still got it but the amount of associated recordings and and the live stuff this is to me essential and I said on the previous episode you know the, the importance of Martin Barr and I perhaps should have mentioned him more as I went through all of these all of these sets but because I'm playing so much death at all now I just keep thinking wow what a fantastic group of musicians and what a vision, you know, um, th these, Ian, he was a bit of a controlling man, but good for you, Ian. Um, it, it, it really is fantastic. And I just, I just love this. So this, this one is, is one of my favorites. And I think as I've been playing these, Mission in the Gallery has confirmed itself as being at the top of the heap. Uh, Stand Up is obviously there, but this also is probably the one I play a great deal of. So, you know, this one, when does this one come out? This is 2019, so not that long ago in rock and roll terms. Um, so if you can find it, please try to, because it's fabulous. Okay, so thank you for watching. Thank you for being here. Thank you for supporting Now Spinning Magazine. And I hope it's great to know from all your feedback you're enjoying this series on Jethro Tull, because next time, it's the final one for now when we look at A, Le Monde, um, which is episode 13. Wow. So thank you. Thank you for being here. Remember, music is the healer and the doctor. Keep spinning those records. Stay away from the news. And thank you, Clive, Andy, Yogi, Chris, and all of my patrons and supporters. Welcome aboard. And I shall see you on my next video.